Hi, Vlad. Thank you again for joining us. Uh, tell us what Space Swap is. Uh, hello, Azam. Thank you for inviting. Uh, uh, Space Swap is a uh, DeFi aggregator which aggregates uh, all major uh, DeFi services. Uh, we have launched as a liquidity mining protocol and we are building a new products like uh, we have today NFT farming, we have uh, today index tokens, uh, we have shadow, uh, shadow staking, shadow farming. It is a new technology which we uh, built uh, by ourselves, our idea, and uh, it is what uh, our community like. Uh, as well, we are building um, space land. It is lending, uh, lending platform, decentralized lending platform. And we are building uh, swap exchange, centralized swap exchange. Uh, also, we are going to be a uh, multi-blockchain, multi-chain uh, DeFi service uh, because we will, we will launch uh, on Binance Smart Chain uh, in a short time, I believe, uh, uh, before end of the February. And uh, also, we are going to launch on Coobiaka Chain, uh, we are going to add our services and our products on the major blockchains, uh, Polkadot, uh, Avalanche, uh, Near Protocol, and um, we are going to be everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, we are building. Uh, <laughs> this is yeah. this is huge. This is huge. And what is the timeline for the project with all these like um, uh, mm -hmm. different layers of projects involved? Yeah, uh, our timeline is uh, simple. Uh, in March, we are launching Binance Smart Chain. Uh, before end of March, we will launch uh, uh, Spaceland. It is lending platform. Uh, after we will uh, go to launch on Obeka Chain. Uh, maybe it will be in April. After we will go to uh, launch, uh, it is Space Starter, like um, a decentralized crowdfunding platform to incubate uh, startups, uh, new DeFi projects uh, for our community and uh, uh, to, to kick off them to the DeFi market. Um, and it's, a, it's a decentralized platform, right? Uh, yeah, we are, going, we are going to add a decentralized platform, but um, uh, I'm not sure that it will be fully decentralized because some uh, functions uh, will be... Uh, will be a little bit centralized. Uh, when it will be ready, I will announce it. And, and yeah, we are, we are going to it also before uh, end of August, uh, Space Crew, the centralized exchange liquidity pool. Uh, so we have a, a very interesting roadmap, a very interesting upcoming products. And I believe so. Uh, we can build it uh, on uh, on our timelines. And how many products in total right now? I mean, not in the future or whatever mm -hmm. that you guys are developing, but how many pro uh, products do you have right now at the moment? Yeah, we have uh, working products now. Five working products, uh, liquidity mining pools. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, gravity pools. It is liquidity mining pools with the stable coins. Uh, we have also NFT, uh, NFT tokens, NFT section, um, but NFT, our NFT are collectibles, but mm -hmm. not only collectibles. And uh, you can uh, get a profit in our milk to tokens uh, with NFT cards. Also, we have uh, index tokens, as I mentioned before. It is index token includes uh, five stable coins like USDT, USDC, uh, uh, DAI. Uh, TUSD and <coughs> and uh, it is prevent uh, uh, the holding all your all your money on uh, at one stablecoin. For example, if you will uh, hold all you all of your money uh, on USDT, and tomorrow um, you will wake up and uh, you will see the news that uh, USDT is has a problem with uh, uh, regu uh, regulators and USDT will go to shoot, shoot down and you will lose on all in one time. Uh, with our index token, you will lose on the uh, 20% uh, because it is on the uh, 20% from uh, all uh, index token. 
right? So let's uh, make it a little bit easier to understand for the listeners. Uh, I just joined the platform and how can I use it as a beginner? Uh, what are the best products or what are the best services I should start sh for now as a beginner? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe so. Uh, the the beginner, when you uh, visit our website, uh, first what you should to do it is to to connect your Web3 wallet. Uh, it can be MetaMask, Coinbase wallet, Trust wallet, or another Web3 wallet. After that, you can uh, uh, start to use, uh, I believe, interstyle farming with uh, without technology shadow staking. Uh, it is a simple thing without any. Uh, buying uh, our tokens, our products, you can uh, you can provide liquidity to uh, Uniswap Uniswap pools. Uh, mm -hmm. We have uh, supporting now uh, 10, 10, uni, 10 Uniswap liquidity pools, uh, like uh, like milk to cream, milk to snow. Uh, Milk to ETH, uh, shake ETH. So uh, you can choose uh, the best option uh, where you can find APY percentage. For example, milk to ETH percent uh, have uh, 435 percent uh, APY uh, percent. Uh, and uh, when you're providing uh, liquidity at Uniswap to this pair, uh, you are going back to our website and connecting your wallet, uh, choosing this pool. Uh, you are not providing LP token to our smart contract, so it is prevent uh, any hacks and any losses uh, of our users. Um, it is revolutionary uh, because if, if, for example, uh, uh, Harvest Finance or uh, Pycle Finance uh, used our technology, so they uh, they didn't uh, lo lose uh, money of their users. Uh, for example, Harvest was hacked on uh, 30 million US dollars. Uh, Pycle Finance was hacked on 20 million US dollars. Uh, but without technology, if someone uh, hacker will uh, hack our smart contract, uh, uh, we will not lose uh, users' money, and uh, hackers can't. Uh, uh, can steal LP tokens from our smart contract because you are saving your, your LP token on your MetaMask wallet or another Web3 wallet. So Basically it's working. Self custodian. Yeah, yeah like uh, you are custodian yourself. Uh, your LP tokens, your your money. So you are not risking that's to That's great. I'll, I'll be in control of my own, you know, money yeah. and my own wallet. I think that's that's very important. Yeah, and you have all benefits from the farming, and you are still going to uh, to get all all tokens, farm tokens. You should also uh, harvest, and uh, it helped also to save your gas fees because uh, Ethereum uh, blockchain is very expensive. And uh, if you are using shadow staking, uh, you are going to do uh, the less. Uh, transact transactions and so you are saving uh, gas fees. You are totally safety. You are you cannot uh, to lose your LP tokens. So um, I suggest to use firstly uh, shadow staking with our liquidity pools and uh, to get more milk to tokens uh, and to get all benefits without any That's buying. That's for the beginners. Is that for yeah. the beginners? Okay. Yeah. Great. Great. And um, and also you, you you mentioned NFTs. Uh, if you can tell us what you guys are doing at this stage, because NFTs are, uh, well, it's said to be bigger than you know DeFi's, and it has a lot of utility aspects uh, of it that are very much beneficial for specifically in the art and music section. But if you can explain more, it would be great. Yeah, sure. Uh, first of all, uh, all of me. Uh, most of all, NFT tokens used by uh, many many projects and many people uh, like uh, collectible uh, tokens. You can buy and uh, you can keep them on your wallet and it's, it's on your collection. Uh, in our case, it is collectible, but uh, you can stake your NFT tokens on our pool and uh, you can uh, earn uh, additional milk to tokens with uh, your NFT token. So yeah, it is 
collectible and it is profitable. It is uh, both together. Uh, for now, we have um, uh, three NFT cars and farming uh, already launched, uh, and the next farming will be with the seven uh, collaborations NFT cars because we have seven new uh, partners uh, for Space Warp. Like, um, Can you disclose Cream. who the partners are? Yeah, Cream Finance, uh, Midcash, uh, Swerge, uh, Just Swap. Uh, Curve and uh, one time, yeah, Curve and uh, these are our partners and we have ah, Snow Swap and uh, the last was Snow Swap and uh, we have um, decided uh, because it is uh, our new partners and we decided to uh, to launch uh, collectible NFT tokens for each partner. And uh, these NFT tokens will be available from tomorrow on our website. Uh, and uh, people can uh, change milk to tokens on NFT tokens and can start the farming, a new farming with these collectible tokens. And after that, if uh, someone, a user, will collect uh, 10, uh, 10 NFT tokens, he can change uh, these tokens to super NFT token super NFT token, which uh, will, uh, uh, and users will earn uh, super profit uh, from uh, from farming of milk to tokens. It's like a exactly. gamification. Exactly. That's great. And what are the risks are uh, of kind of like with, with the NFT tokens and like, is, is there, like, what's the percentage of losing your money? Um. I believe that uh, it is a profitable. Um, uh, we, ha we, we had one uh, NFT token farming program, so uh, all people was uh, happy with that. And we are going uh, ongoing. Uh, we have ongoing program now, and uh, it is a it is really profitable. So uh, I believe that uh, no one. Uh, I will not be unhappy with uh, our NFT program. And also the risk is also kind of like something that the individuals have to consider themselves if they want to, to risk that. Um, you mentioned about the, um, the NFT and also shadow staking. If you can explain a little bit or like very briefly what shadow staking mm -hmm. is, it would be great. Yeah, shadow staking is uh, the technology when you are not providing LP tokens to our smart contract. You are keeping LP tokens on on your Web3 wallet and uh, you are getting all benefits, all uh, farming tokens uh, to your uh, Web3 wallet directly without providing LP tokens. So it's safety, it's uh, more easy and uh, it's more cheaper because you are not losing uh, gas fees uh, on additional transactions. Well, that's great. So how's uh, 2021 year been for you guys so far in terms of the development of the project and the user base growth? How, how has it been? Yeah, it was, um, it was really great. Uh, I'm happy to, to be here on uh, this bull run market. And uh, yeah, we, we have developed this uh, product from the uh, end of September last year. And uh, we, we built a uh, product and uh, at the end of January, uh, when we launched uh, Shadow Staking, uh, we get attention from the uh, community. They liked this concept and uh, uh, we, ha we have amazing growth. Grow uh, for example, uh, I can say you uh, we had an amazing growth for our tokens uh, uh, in the price. For example, our milk to tokens price was two cents, and uh, for today it is price um, ninety five cents. So it is uh, serious. Yes, yeah, serious growing, and we have uh, many active users. For example. Uh, we have around 30,000 uh, active users per one week uh, uh, who is visiting our website and using our services. And we are still growing and adding a new product. So I believe after new products, we will get a more, um, more and more new users. 
Well, that's that's great. And uh, what do you think of DeFi uh, this year and also moving forward to the next years? How because we saw twenty twenty was the year of DeFi, but now it's actually uh, taking up or like I would say like uh, uh, launching in a very mm-hmm. different direction in terms of how big it is becoming, specifically with. Uh, with different new products. Um, I believe 2020 was the year that was focused on DeFi and the products. And now we can see those products are actually coming to the market. And uh, we see much more applications to those products and people mm-hmm. are, or even like enthusiasts um, in, in the field, uh, they see different applications, to different products. They're using that specifically in the lending department, in the insurance, in the gaming, in the NFT, as you mentioned. So how do you see this market growing uh, specifically this year? Uh, and what do you think that would be expected to see at the end of the year that would be launching to 2022? Um, yeah, this year is great, but uh, all bull runs should be uh, end as soon as possible. But uh, I, be, I, I, I wish... Uh, to, to have this time uh, as long uh, as we can imagine. Uh, but I believe that uh, this market will go, uh, will turn to the beer market uh, at the end of this year. I hope so. Uh, and the uh, next big things will be uh, gaming with NFT, NFT tokens together. I believe that uh, it is a next big thing uh, where we can um, where we can focus and uh, to be one of the first projects uh, on this way. NFT and gaming together. Yeah, I think it is a big thing. That would Next. be really exciting. And what are we expecting to, to see uh, by the end of this year from Space Swap? Because everybody's asking, what is next? When is the big, the big next news coming up? So what do we expect from that? Yeah, uh, first of all, we, we want to uh, finish our uh, our roadmap plans for this year. Uh, it is a space land landing platform. Uh, it is space crew, uh, automated uh, liquidity pool, market pool, and shadow synthetic assets uh, with the Binance Smart Chain version and Hobby Chain. It's um, our plan to this year. Uh, next year, I, I will focus on uh, NFTs and uh, gaming platforms together. Well, that's exciting. Anything else that you want to add before we say goodbye? Um, I believe that I, I have uh, introduced all products. And uh, if you have any questions, um, uh, you can join to our Telegram chat. I I, I can, um, I'm, I'm active there. You can find me there and uh, I'm open to discuss uh, all ideas, all questions. And uh, thank you, Azam, for inviting me one more time. It's uh, really great to see you and uh, to chat with you. Uh, so thank you very much.